They shot through the lock and that, oh, there is a gator. See those eyes winkling back at us. They're skeletons. Oh my God. <laughs> Little axolotl, I think. Be infested. No way. Oh, what is that? He's beautiful. So I'm gonna get this last dojo loach added in here. Welcome back to Rob's Quads, guys. In today's video, we're back in the Everglades at night to try to trap the abandoned spillway. But before we get in the video, please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications. Let's get right into the video. So I got a fish trap right here and I got this net, but I didn't just bring this net. I have the same one we caught Big Mama with in the truck right now. I went to the nautical flea market in the Keys before coming up here and I got some stuff. But guys, this place is even sketchier than it was the last time we came here. Here. Somebody shot up this pole right here. These fences are completely shot through. Normally this is closed, but they shot through the lock. And oh my God, look at the size of that ant. Yeah, oh, there's a spider. Camera girl, don't freak out. So I'm gonna record as we walk in because it looks like it's gonna be a lot sketchier since the last, oh, I just got stuck in that. Gate. There might be gators over in that. Oh, there is a gator. Oh, there is a gator. Can you see his eyes? He's on the bank right by the trees. See those eyes winkling back at us. But also over here, guys, there's this other spillway. Now, I've never been over here. We're gonna check it out and see if there's anything. No, this one's completely dried up. But the spillway's right over here. Now, last time I was here, guys. Look at the little froggy. Oh, he's precious. <laughs> Precious little Cuban frog, tree frog. Or no, that's a green tree. No, I don't know guys. Is that invasive or is that native? I'm not really too sure, but yeah, that's <laughs> adorable. We're gonna make our way to the original spillway location, guys. Now, last time I was here, there was a massive beehive right where we're setting this fish trap. So hopefully we don't get tore up, but we might. I'm hoping that's not the case. I've got a line tied to this fish trap. I'll get it baited when we're over there. We're gonna make our way through the glade. Right now we're walking up on the beehive. Now I'm not gonna be as loud as I normally am because if the bees are in here, I don't want to piss them off. Oh, I see some now. Here we go, run. Light footsteps, because if we mess with these bees, it's not going to be good for them. They're landing on you. They're landing on me? One was on your back a second ago. Oh, awesome. But look, somebody came through here and just killed a bunch of gar. Dude, there's so many gar. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What the? Oh my god. Dude, what? Why would they do it? These are nice size guards. Like, these are the perfect size guards to keep as pets. I literally, last time we were here, guys, we caught some this size. And they're in my pond right now. There's like 20 guards. Well, that looks like an alligator trail. That little. You think that's an alligator trail? And then trail? look, it looks like. It could be. It could also be like raccoons and stuff coming over here to eat those guards. Definitely could be the case. But we got our fish trap. I'm going to bait it up and we're going get to get it set in the sewer right here, guys. But. Is there any gators lurking around over here? Oh, there's a big bluegill right there. Look, he just slunk down. Maybe we bring the cast net out and throw it around over here. We also have to check the other little spillways to see what we could catch. But we're gonna get the fish trap set right now, guys. Dude, the bees, I hate the bees. Don't freak out. Don't <laughs> Stay freak calm. out. Stay calm, cool, and collect. Well, on the bright side, as soon as we set this fish trap, we could get the out of here. And we don't have to touch this for a long, long time. There's a baby gator on the bank. Really? The camera girl says she spotted a baby gator right over there. Guys, the Everglades is really alive tonight. I got a lot of fishing line that I got from the flea market here as well. I tied this little knot right here, so it's gonna be easier for me to get it on the spillway. Great. Drop this. Oh yeah, more than enough line. I got some cat food in there. As you guys know, that is my trademark. Let's see where I can anchor this. We'll just use this gate right here. Oh my God, spiders. <laughs> Nobody has been here in a long, long time, it seems. Hopefully 15 pound test is enough and like a gator doesn't try to run off with our fish trap. Okay, hopefully I don't get stung right now. How can I, I gotta turn this off. Okay. That should make him calm down a little bit. I think it's just the electricity messing with him. Okay, yeah, we're good. Let's get fishing. Let's get out of this area. The wildlife here is not, not having it tonight. Uh, we're gonna go to one of the spill gays. Spill gays. We're gonna go to one of the spillways, guys, where we catch a lot of cool aquarium fish and see what we could do. The Everglades. What was that sound? The Everglades is very alive tonight. I'll tell you that much. Oh, there's even, we didn't even notice these dead guards. Why would anybody do that? I don't get it. Look, there's, there's skeletons. Let's check out this water right here, guys. There's a gator. Where? I wouldn't. I see a ton of fish down there. So many plecos. Are Keep recording? the light out there, yeah. The, oh, there's four gators. Look, there's one closest to us. There's one on that back edge, another one to the left, and another one to the left. Oh, they're getting active tonight. It's just not catching them all. It's catching that one, but other than Here, that, let me I can't see, see nothing. If I can beat them. They look very curious. Look, there's a lot of gators out tonight, though, guys. Just doesn't want to pick them up. Sorry, guys. Malone. Look at the pleco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of life out here. 
Ooh, ooh, I can't. Babe, babe, okay. babe, there's a bee on me. Please help, please help, please help. It's Sorry. On you. We're at the first location right here, guys, and it's looking pretty good. There's a lot of birds around, so that means there's probably a lot of fish down here as well. Um, let's go out for gators real quick to see if I'm in any real imminent danger. Oh, there's a big bunch of baby fish. Oh, we're gonna take a lot of nets, guys. That's looking real promising. But we're gonna rip out the cast net right now and see what's good. I see a lot of big guards. I think camera girl saw a gator right when we first pulled up. Let's see what we could do here. There's a lot of stuff in that around, so we're gonna get to it. But I think the power lines are live right now, so I'll try not to hit them. Up high. Oh, great throw. Oh, I just spooked the guard. We can't, I can't hold the flashlight at the same time as we're doing the cast nets, guys, because like, I just don't have enough hands. God, we got a lot of fish. Oh, Here, point over. Come over the edge. Oh my god. Dude, this thing is so heavy. Is that a walking cat? It might be. There's a lot of them in here. Oh my god. Alright, our first net. Bunch of baby gars. If we catch anything in the three to four inch range, I'm definitely going to be keeping it. I definitely see one in that range. So, let's see what all we got in this first cast net. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, there's a ton of guards. See, this is why you don't bring a fresh cast net out into the Everglades, but there's a ton of fish. At first I thought there was like some snakeheads or something in here. Now we're gonna use this smaller net as well, guys. And we're gonna use this smaller net as well, guys, because there's a lot of smaller fish in the water as well. It looks like that first cast net's just a bu oh my god, a bunch of baby guards. See, just a bunch of little guys like him. He's a little big for what I wanna keep this go around, but I also might take back some of these hoplo catfish. These guys are pretty neat. They're really nice looking. They got some good color, actually. Oh my god. I might get nut shotted by one of these guards when they fly. Oh, that's a cute little guard. Oh no, he's actually a little too big for my liking. A lot of the ones we caught last time. The one to time. the left of him. This guy? He's honestly still a little big than what I want to keep. So we're going to get everything you see right here back in the water. I'm not seeing anything exotic right now. So we'll get all these guys back in the water real quick. We'll throw another net and see what we can do. Ew, look at this one, guys. This walking catfish got tagged by something. See that? Something literally took a chunk out of this fish. Now, all these I'm actually not putting back in the water, guys. They're super highly invasive fish in the Everglades and South Florida in general. But all the gars I got big in, there's native species. So I'm going to load up the cat's net. And we're gonna rip another one. We're gonna throw one more cast net before we start netting this pond right here. Right there, just a little bit different. You know, we usually throw the cast net a lot farther out, but I'm just curious to see if we pull up any cyclids like this. It's, oh my God. Oh, every time, every time. There's so many fish down here in the Everglades. Oh, that's a first in a long time. Another invasive species. We got a mine cichlid right there. Let's see, camera girl really wants to keep some of the smaller hoplos. So I'll look up the legality of that and we might just do so. Another massive net. Oh, we got a pleco in there too. <laughs> that's sick. If we catch a baby pleco, I'll definitely keep it. But let's see what we got going on right here. Got a mine. Yeah, you got. we got a mine right there. Anything interesting? No, it seems like a bunch of medium sized gars. I mean, I'm not sure if there's really- Is that really... a hoplo or a gar? This? That's a hoplo. Never mind. A lot of gars. None of them really the size I want to keep. I mean, the most part though, gars this size are like perfect for like bigger monster fish tanks. So they're pretty small, but they're not like too small. But we're going to get these guys all back in the water and start netting around to see if we could pick up some of the smaller fish. If we catch something like a flag fish or like little jewel cichlids, I might actually keep those because uh, they're pretty neat. Hey. Hey. Do they bite? No, he's really sharp and chunky though. He's been eating good. But this is that pleco we just caught, guys. Nothing crazy. We'll literally just throw him back. He's actually a pretty decent size. Oh, <laughs> you know, he, he just croaked on me. We'll get him back in the canal though. You can see he's doing very well. These are also super invasive down here. I'm going to be holding the flashlight with one hand and netting with the other guy simply because there are a lot of gators out tonight. But there's a ton of fish down here. I'm just going to point the little thing away. Oh, let's see. Oh my god. <laughs> Am I trying to kill myself? I just accidentally dropped the net. With the one hand method, I'm hoping I could see any potential gators before I become food. But we just took a net right there. Let's see, did we get anything? Let's see. What are you? Oh, what is this? This, oh, it's a tiny baby bluegill. Oh, he's adorable. A lot of little shrimp, some mollies. So this little bluegill is actually the cutest thing ever. We're gonna put him back though, another native species, but so far just rocks, bluegills, <laughs> and shrimp. I don't know how the lighting is, guys, but look. Oh my God, were they hunting werewolves with these silver bullets? Is that all there is, two shots? It's this one. There's another one? I don't know, somebody must have been doing something they shouldn't have been. There's three shell casings, four. Four shell casings right here, guys. This one's older bronze. Huh. 
What is I that? told you it was an airboat. That's sick. <laughs> That's so sick. <laughs> He's doing donuts. <laughs> He's loading it on the trailer. That is so That's sick. That's sick. Okay, it's kind of well, Look, there's another one. You hear him? Oh my god. That's so sick. That's so funny. But right here we found four shell casing, guys. I don't know who's responsible. There was like Loki. There's Loki bent. Like I, we saw like a group of guys on quads, like ATVs, like the street ones running around around here. So I don't know if they were the ones who did it. Either way, we're going to take another net and see what we catch. I might keep these on me. This is actually a really cool find. A lot of the fish, if you look at them, they're hanging low, like really low. That thing is really loud. But we got this net right here. Let's see if we got anything in it. Looks like more shrimp, more molly. Oh, what? It, oh, dude, no way. Look, it's a beautiful little axolotl, I think. I don't know guys. I think this might be a baby axolotl. Right? Oh my God, it's clear. You can see its intestines. What is it? Look, you can see its organs. You see that? If I get him to stop wiggling around, look at that. You can see his intestines. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm gonna stop playing with you. I got some water filled up in this bucket right here. And while I was getting the water in here, we actually did catch a few fish. The water is super, super warm that we caught this little guy out of, but he looks really good. Definitely something we'll be adding into our little fish room tank. Um, where we put him actually right now, I'm not too sure. I'm pretty confident though that this is an axolotl. Yeah, you saw how those gills, oh, <laughs> did he just try to hit me? You saw those gills flared though? Like this definitely could be a little baby axolotl. Oh my God, he's adorable. You see his little feet? Oh my God, he is the cutest thing ever. Look at him swim. Oh my God, that is so cool. Well, we're gonna keep netting around and see what else we could pull up. Those guys, the, the airboats are sick. If I find somebody with some airboats, we'll definitely try to get on some. Let's see here, let's see here. Well, net by this little weed line. Fish a lot, look, there's a lot of movement. So there's definitely a lot of fish. I should have worn my deck boots. Oh my God, I thought that rock was a gator for a second. I saw those two ridges at the top and I was at my heart actually saying, if I saw a gator, right in front of me like that, I would be sketched out. But there's still a lot of little fish around here. Try to net right here. That was a pretty good net. Oh, we did catch a lot more fish with this one. Let's see here. We haven't caught any jewel cichlids yet, which is weird, but it seems, oh, what are you? Oh, another baby bluegill. So the bluegill are spawning. We got another little fish right here. That is some kind of bluegill. I'm not too sure. So two little baby bluegills. There's usually a lot of flagfish in the warmer months, but a lot of little stuff. Nothing I really care about though. So we're gonna get them all back in the water and keep nutting around to see if we could pull up something cooler. Oh, wait, what is this? No, that's just a little molly. Yeah, there's no flagfish around right now. I think the water might be too cold. Right now, air temp is 50 something degrees. That's why I got the beanie on. Let's walk up here. There's a lot of rocks and a lot of little fish hiding around right here. I'm gonna do my best to get a net without getting packed by a gator. I see some bigger, slightly bigger fish. I'm gonna take a few nets probably just because there's a lot of little fish. I wanna try to catch at least a couple. I just felt a big hit. I don't know, am I tripping? Yeah, I'm tripping. There's like literally thing in there. We're gonna go over to the other side real quick too. See about getting a couple nets over here. The fish in the Everglades typically aren't dumb. So it makes it a little bit harder, but also the weather dropping right now. The water's about to start getting real cooler. And also, all this slapping is like the perfect thing to attract gators. To be honest, that's how people lure gators in. So hopefully we don't bring any in. But let's check this net. Uh, nothing. Oh! Oh my god. Oh, he's gorgeous. Look, there's a beautiful baby tiger Oscar right here. Guys, we caught a few of these last time we were here. This guy's even prettier than all of those. We definitely have a spot for him back in the fish room, so we'll definitely keep him. But I think it's about time, guys, to go check the fish trap. Got some more stuff right here. Yeah, nothing really too crazy. But we'll definitely go check the fish trap and put this guy in the keeper bucket. We're gonna get this little guy in here, and we're gonna get all the extra random stuff out of there. The Oscar just swam off strong. He's down there with a the little axolotl. But we're gonna get all this random shrimp and stuff out of here as well. And we're gonna go back to the bee infested spillway, the abandoned spillway and check that fish trap. It's been sitting for a while. We're gonna go see what's up with it. It's the temperature dropping real cold right now. I wouldn't be surprised if it isn't 50 degrees. The water temp is still pretty warm. We're gonna jump over to the fish trap and see what's up. And then we'll head back to the house. If we end up catching some cool stuff in there, we already got some keepers in the keeper bucket right now. Oscar Ascolotl. I think that's it. I think that's all we've caught so far. But we're gonna check the fish trap and see what's up. This for Jits and Shiggles, guys. We're gonna throw the cast net before we check the fish trap. There's a big spillway and a lot of guards on the ground. So odds are, 
we'll be able to pull something out. I'm thinking we'll throw three cast nets down here. I don't actually know how deep this water is. I don't know if I have enough line to do it, but I just do that net right there. I think this just hit bottom. Let's see. Any fishers? Any fishes at all? Damn, that is a long, long ways to go for a cast net, but nothing in that net. I don't even know if it hit the bottom, to be honest, but we might be able to catch some fish swimming in the middle column. And I think because of the weather getting so cold, those bees are completely dormant now. I have not heard or seen a single bee. So that's kind of awesome, because bees kind of suck. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I actually kind of really hate bees. They're great for the earth, horrible for Rob's Aquatic. Put it up again. That was a pan something just dumped. jumped right there, but that was a pancake. Very good, very good. Maybe we throw it off at that point too, just cause we can. Is this still sinking? I think it is. Yep. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, I'm gonna pull it up. Don't want to get stuck on rocks, but it'd be really cool to catch like a big adult Oscar or something. Please don't get stuck on the spillway. Please don't get stuck on the spillway. Damn. How did these people catch so many dogs? I mean, during the day they could definitely see them without a doubt but let's walk up to that point right there and throw another net see what we could do and those rocks are big oh no this might be a horrible idea they don't lose my footing either that would really suck right here on the edge of the world that was a pretty good net this might be really risky though look at all those rocks i think i definitely got snagged up on one. Oh, what is that oh wait wait hold on oh oh my god look Dude, we caught a baby Paku. I mean, it's not really that much of a baby. I don't even know if he could escape the net right now, but we must have caught him in the water calm, guys, because I'm not letting this net sink for crap. Let's uh, be safe about this, and you, you, let's just go back to the keeper market. <laughs> yeah, just turn it on, because I don't want you to fall, guys. I don't want camera girl tightrope and backwards on this thing and then fall 20 feet into yeah, the snowway. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, be... pretty good fall. Horrible. I'd be the worst boyfriend ever. But guys, look at this. So we must have snagged him in the water column. Oh, let me try, I'm, I'm just gonna go in the net and grab him. I don't really wanna drop him on this, guys, because kids come out here and drink and do all kinds of crazy stuff. And you can see there's a lot of glass on the floor along with all the bodies of the guards. But guys, look, this guy is beautiful. Perfect size for a 300 gallon tank. We'll definitely get him in here. And I have never caught a Paku or anything out of here, but this guy looks super healthy. So I'll just get him back in the water real quick. Wow. Oh my god, all right. Well, that's a pretty cool fish to find. Let's pull up the fish trap, and hopefully it's still there. Is it still here? Okay, we're still tied up. Let's pull it up right now. All right, we're gonna start pulling up the fish trap right now, guys. The bees actually are still up. We just got attacked by one. We're pulling up the fish trap right now, guys. It's a little tough. I do feel some weight on this, but hopefully we caught some fish. Oh! Oh, I think I do see some... Wait, yeah. This trap looks weird. Why is this torn out like that? That's weird. Something definitely got out of the trap. You see that? It shouldn't be open like that, but let me grab the flashlight. Is the bee still on it? I don't think so. Let's see what all we caught in here, guys. The keeper bucket's right behind us. Oh, wow. Okay, so we did catch a few cool little fish. I see some little loaches swimming around down here. Hey, buddy. Come on. Beautiful, beautiful little dojo loach. I believe we caught these at a couple locations in the past. These guys, I'd imagine, would do really good in the Everglades. So it's a good thing we're pulling these guys out right now. We're gonna get them in the keeper bucket and I'm just gonna bring the keeper bucket right over to us. We got the Paku in there and I'm gonna top this off with some more water because as we drive home, it's gonna, oh! <laughs> look, look at this clown knife. Oh my God. He is a nice size, this clown knife fish. Look at him, guys. He's beautiful. We'll get him in the keeper bucket. What else do we got in here? I see another loach. And I think the bee calmed down, guys. I don't know if the mic's even able to pick up the bees, but we definitely notice when they're around. But there's not too many fish in the sewer. Oh, little, another little dojo loach just flew on my hands. It looks like we got another, looks like we got another cichlid right here. Ew. I mean, he looks kind of beat up. Something was messing with him. We got a convict, I believe. We caught one of those here last time we were here. Oh, look at this pleco. This guy is pretty. Now, a lot of these fish we just pulled up out of the glades, guys. We could put in our little Everglades tank back at home. And it seems like the rest of these fish are literally just one or two walking catfish and a hoplo. Now, this hoplo, maybe we just keep one of them. I don't really know if I can legally keep these though. They're super invasive. We're definitely not gonna put them back in the water. Um, unfortunately guys, that is illegal I'm pretty sure. But not too many fish in the sewer. It was really strange how this part of the fish trap was pointed out like that. So I think when I was pulling it up, there were a lot more fish and they just ended up falling out that side. I did remember to zipper the trap. So I know they couldn't have gotten out that way, but 
overall that's just really weird but we did catch a lot of really cool fish like this clown knife we got this convict we got these dojo loaches and this beautiful beautiful pocket right here so we're gonna get them all on air and back to the house hopefully to survive the trip we are pretty deep in the everglades and i'm gonna definitely get some fresh water in their bucket as well so now we're back in the fish room guys with all the fish we caught from the everglades and that abandoned spillway first thing we're gonna add into this tank actually will probably be some feeders because these oscars are going to devour whatever we throw in here so like look i put my hand up here and they're gonna try to hit it or not they just want to make me look bad but we'll send these fish down in there if they want to eat he just ate the convict oh buddy no see bad bad oscar no oh man okay we'll move this uh convict for the time oh no did i not get it oh he's chilling right here now okay so he should be safe now although the oscars are growing so fast i'm just gonna move him and away from this tank entirely even though this is the everglades themed tank we'll get him in something else for the time being just so he doesn't get mauled again so i just threw him in that tank hopefully he does well we got the clown knife here now the clown knife's looking a little iffy these guys don't travel well generally but he's big enough to go with these guys so we're gonna get him in here see if he livens up the aeration is off right now but already he's looking better in this tank now what else can we throw in here i think we could throw the plug going for the shrimp oh little guy oh that's a snail buddy that was a snail the oscars could eat snails they have gill plates they could crush snails up and eat them but the last fish we're going to be adding into the everglades tank is probably this pleco right here because everything else would potentially get eaten by oscar so we'll get him added in right there he's looking beautiful and cute there's a lot of algae for him to start getting accustomed to the tank look the oscar track trying to track down that shrimp we're gonna get a lot of the feeder stuff in here just for funsies yeah but <laughs> these oscars are ravenous i feed him a couple times a day and they still want to just destroy everything. Now we gotta figure out what we wanna do with the, oh, we got another baby Oscar. I lied, we're definitely gonna add him into the tank. I think he's too big to get eaten. He's around the same size as that other guy. So we'll get him added in right here. Yeah, he should be fine. Be smart little guy. And I'm always watching these tanks, so if he's in trouble at any point, I'll be able to track him down. But all the live stuff we're adding into the tank to keep everybody distracted from messing with the new additions to the tank. So before- Oh damn, that Oscar almost had him. They're chasing him. <laughs> Oh, 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 he just got it. He just crushed that. So what else do we have in here? Okay, so we have this little axolotl. For the time being, we're gonna throw this guy, this cute little axolotl right here. We're gonna throw him in this tank. There shouldn't be anything in here that'll mess with him. And it's actually cool enough in there for him to just be okay. What else do we have? We got those two dojo loaches that we'll put in the platy pond and this paku right here. So this paku we're actually going to add to the 300 gallon tank outside. I'll give you guys an update on them right now. But for the time being, we're also gonna get those uh, dojo loaches and stuff in the platy pond outside. So now we're back out by the tanks outside, guys. And actually, you know how we had that heron problem, like the little night heron? Today, if you look over here at this tank, you see this feather right here? This feather right here is from a massive blue heron that was standing over the 120 gallon tank today. If I didn't have this netting on there, who knows how many fish would be left. And honestly, I probably should get even stronger netting knowing that a three to four foot tall bird is perching up on my fish tanks and trying to eat my fish. It's just ridiculous. But also I was very successful in rehoming those fish we bought the other day. So there's no longer any fish in here aside from the bicer up top, the paku that have been in here, and then as well as the red tail catfish, Little Red, he's They're still all in hanging here. out behind the wood. Yeah, they're all chilling behind the wood. You can actually probably see him from this angle right here. There we go, you see Little Red chilling back there? There he is, literally just chilling with his homies. All the paku, one, once I added in that piece of driftwood, they all low-key started hiding from me, but this tank right now, guys, even though it is in the 50s, it is currently sitting at 27 degrees Celsius. So all these guys are perfectly fine now. I've got it figured out. We're probably gonna move the Oscars into this tank from the pond as well, although they do handle the cold water a lot better, as we've seen in the wild. But where's this Paku at? We're gonna get this Paku in here, add it in with these guys. Let me just, uh... but we got this Paku right here that I'm gonna just pick up and put into the tank with his little buddies. We're gonna put him in the tank with those little Paku and he'll start schooling with them literally within seconds. But he's added in there. This water's a lot warmer than what he's used to. And usually when Pakus get caught and are stressed out, they will kind of lay, lay flat on their sides for a little while while they're getting adjusted. But he's looking pretty good. So what I'm going to do is now, is guys, is I'm going to get those dojo loaches in the platy pond. We saw some babies today growing despite the really cold weather. So that is awesome. But the rest of these fish that we have in this bucket, guys, we're going to drop in the Oscar Everglades tank and let them just demolish them. But first, we must 
add fish to the platy pond. So now I gotta try to find these dojo loaches. Dojos, dojos. There we go. We got one of the dojos. Cause last time, guys, I added dojos in here. I actually saw them on the go. Oh, there he goes. I saw them on the GoPro. So they do really well in the platy pond. I think the platy pond, since it's basically just a black tub, it stays a lot warmer than everything else I have. So I'm gonna get this last dojo loach added in here. Beep. Boop, he's gone. <laughs> and the rest of this stuff, guys, we're just gonna dump into the Oscar tank and let them feast. But yeah, there's the little dojos hanging out, at least one of them. Let's actually take a quick gander at the platy pond, get an idea of what's going on down in there. There's a ton of these plants, and I don't think I have nearly as many platies. I think the birds might have been hunting them down. So, I mean, they do like to rest at the bottom at night, so that could be skewing our little search. But is that a baby down there? I don't know. No, that's a baby. Yeah, little baby. So they're spawning in here now, guys, and I'm going to be setting up a site to sell all those betta fish and maybe some of these other fish I have laying around. If you guys are interested in that, I'll learn how to ship fish, set up a site that's nice and presentable. I just spooked him. I just spooked him. You see him flying away out there? Oh, you. Man, what was he? He was on the 120 gallon tank. I have netting over everything just to try to protect the fish, but I was gonna give you guys an update the next day on all the fish that we caught just now in today's video. But that bird keeps trying trying to snipe my fish. I mean, we still got the big maboon in here. I gotta clean the glass and do a water change. Everything's looking fine. I already fed them today and everybody's looking good, but that heron, you see him perched up over there? That big heron keeps trying to perch up on my fish tanks and eat my fish. So hopefully he didn't get anybody out of this tank. I think the pocket we caught yesterday is chilling in this corner and I gotta be careful because there's actually now a wasp nest. Right here, there's a bunch of wasps. So I gotta get that situated, but we got one of the pockets right there. Um, I have the tarp over. There's a second pocket right here, but let me try to get this tarp over without pissing off the hornet. You can see the gang back there. The lighting is super bad, but we've got two Paku hanging out with Little Red over there, and then the two in the other corner, and there's the bite. So now we have four Paku in the 300 gallon tank. The Paku seem to handle the cooler weather a lot better than a lot of those other bigger fish I had been getting. So I'm done getting big monster fish until it actually heats up consistently. And I'm probably gonna get those Oscars in the 300 gallon tank as well, the one that we bought the other day. Is there, this is the, <laughs> hey, Good morning. you know that big heron, the blue one? He's been trying to snipe my fish, bro. Which ones, the platy pond or? No, the ones over there. The little ones? Yeah, the African cichlid. Look, all right, you're, you're blind, but that big blue heron, all the way down there. <laughs> that big guy, Where? you see him next to the tree? Standing in the grass? Yeah. That big ass bird? <laughs> yeah. What the hell? Yeah, dude, he keeps climbing on my fish tank. But I'm gonna just run them a little update on all the stuff we caught last night. And I can't seem to find the clown knife in this tank, but all the Oscars and all the cichlids are looking good. The baby Oscar we caught, he's chilling back there doing just fine. And I don't know where the pleco went. Oh, he's chilling right here. Look, the little, this is definitely an axolotl, bro. Look, 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 you see that? I don't know if this is one of those salamanders like you guys been saying. But an update video is coming out very shortly on all of the beta fish. We just went to Glades today and caught all those really sick fish. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications if you did. And we got all the purple snails separated. There's a lot of stuff in the works in the fish room, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.